compound formed by mutual sharing of electrons or electron pairs between the two atoms, thereby forming a covalent bond between them. Such compounds are called covalent compounds. A diamond is one of the three allotropes of carbon. Typically hard and having high dispersion of light. In the structure of a diamond, the electronic configuration of carbon atom is 2, 4 and its outermost shell is short of four electrons to obtain neon-like configuration. Therefore, each carbon combines with four other carbon atoms to attain stability. And thus forms a covalent compound of diamond. Other typical examples of covalent compounds are hydrogen gas, H2, chlorine gas, Cl2, carbon tetrachloride, CCl4, water, H2O, ammonia, NH3, etc. Properties of covalent compounds. Physical state. Covalent compounds are generally liquids, for example, water, H2O, or gases at room temperature, for example, oxygen, O2, carbon dioxide, CO2, etc. However, some of the covalent compounds like glucose, Solubility. Polar covalent compounds dissolve in polar solvents. For example, ammonia, NH3, dissolves in water. to form ammonium hydroxide. Nonpolar covalent compounds dissolve in nonpolar solvents. For example, naphthalene dissolves in nonpolar solvent like ether, but it remains insoluble in water. Melting points and boiling points. Molecules of a covalent compound, for example, water, are held together by relatively weak forces as compared to ionic compounds, which possess strong bonds. Therefore, their melting points and boiling points are low as less energy is required to overcome these weaker forces. For example, water 
has a boiling point of about 100 degrees Celsius. Strength of bonds that is between particles to the boiling point and melting point. Like in water, we were shown uh, the hydrogen bonding, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, and finally, is something you are reminded that non polar compounds dissolve into non polar solvents and polar also to polar solvents. Yes, and that now takes us to the next video as we close. So, yes. yes.